What is up guys, I hope everyone is doing well and if you're like me you're probably just super happy that the weekend has finally arrived as I will be playing Apex Legends all weekend probably without bathing even once. So if that sounds good then don't forget to join our Discord as we play loads of games in there and you guys can come and play along with us. So with that said, in today's video I will be showing you some essential items that I feel everyone should have in their gaming setups. These are going to make your life easier and they are also very budget friendly so there's really no reason that you shouldn't go ahead and try and pick some of these up. So just before we jump into the video, if you are not following me on Twitter then you really should be as I have teamed up with EE, the UK's best network five years running to gift one Samsung Superfan the ultimate experience. So if you hop on my Twitter you will see that there is a giveaway running for one of you lucky people to come and join me at Samsung Unpacked in London next week and see the new Galaxy series in all its glory and travel will be included. What's more though is that the winner will also be gifted one of the new devices when they are officially launched. So jump over to my Twitter to check the competition out, all the terms and conditions and all that stuff. I believe them all linked down below. So let's go ahead and jump into this video. Okay, so let's get the ball rolling with the Kenovo Premium High Speed HDMI switch. So this retails for around £27 here in the UK and $29 in the US. With all the games consoles that I have here in the studio, the Kenovo makes switching between them seamless as it lets me plug five devices in and outputs it to my main monitor. You simply plug the DC cable in along with your devices and you are good to go. You can go ahead and switch between the inputs on the device itself or utilise the handy remote that is included. Overall, this is an awesome device if you have multiple consoles like a PlayStation, an Xbox, a Nintendo Switch etc and you want them all hooked up to one monitor and don't want to have to mess about with cables etc then this is a must cop. So speaking of owning multiple consoles, I utilise the Astro A40 headset and honestly switching this between all of my consoles etc was an absolute pain so I went ahead and picked up the eCynic Toslink switch. So basically this allows me to plug up to three devices in and switch between them seamlessly again either on the device or with the included remote. If you're rocking a headset that requires an optical connection then this is an absolute must and costs just £16 here in the UK and $21 in the US and honestly out of all of these items this is probably the one that has made my life so much easier. If like me you own loads of peripherals and you are quickly running out of USB ports on your PC then it's definitely time to pick up a USB hub and I own two of these so let's jump in and start with the first one. First up we have this 4 port USB 3.0 hub from Anker. This little USB hub is super slim and sleek and will run you just £10 here in the UK and $10 in the US. It's nothing fancy but it definitely gets the job done. Next up is my main USB hub where all of my peripherals etc are connected and that is the 7 port offering from Oki. With 7 USB 3.0 ports and a data transfer rate of up to 5 gigabytes per second, it really is the perfect choice. In the UK you will pick this up for £27, while in the US it will run you $29. If you have a load of peripherals and you want to make sure everything is protected and powered properly, then this is definitely the route to go down. It is a little bit more expensive but definitely worth every single penny. Next up we have a simple product from Ugreen and that is the 2 meter USB 3.0 extension cable. This extension cable comes in very handy if you have any other products with super short cables, much like the Anker USB hub that I just showed you. You can go ahead and plug this in and that will allow you to go ahead and mount your USB hub anywhere you like under your desk. Honestly, this is a great product and it will cost you around £6 here in the UK and $7 in the US, so super inexpensive. Sticking with Ugreen, if you utilise SD cards etc, then this card hub is the perfect option for your setup and something that I have been utilising for some time now. As you can see, it does accept many card types and transfers data up to 5 gigabytes per second. Price wise, this will run you $15 in the US and £14 here in the UK, so if you are a creative like myself or maybe just want to have a card reader on your PC and this is definitely a worthwhile option. Last up we have a product that I'm pretty sure a lot of you will own as it is super popular and that is the ASUS Bluetooth 4.0 adapter. If you want Bluetooth on your PC to connect devices or transfer data then this truly is the easiest option. Just plug it in and download the drivers or you can go ahead and install the drivers using the included CD and you're pretty much good to go. 
I pretty much just picked this up so that I could utilise my AirPods on my PC so that I can listen to music while I'm filming and don't have to use my phone just because my phone is a distraction and honestly it is a pretty awesome product. It will run you around £12 here in the UK and $16 in the US so definitely worthwhile checking out. So that pretty much rounds this little guide up guys. If you have any other products that you think I should check out for my setup, let me know down below as I'm always on the lookout to try and make things a little easier for myself. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and also don't forget to check out that giveaway in Twitter as I would love to see one of you guys making it there. As always guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Stay safe, be kind to each other and I will catch you on the next one. Peace. Thanks for Thank <laughs> you.